This video teaches you how to connect TP-Link router and D-Link router together. Place both routers near your computer. Perform the main router setup. Then connect your computer to the TP-Link via Ethernet cable. On Windows computers which don't have Ethernet ports, you can buy an Ethernet to USB adapter. During the initial setup process, you should keep the routers near your computer so that you can easily access them. You can set them up in their permanent locations later. Open a web browser, enter 192.168.0.1. Username, Admin Password, Admin Configure your 2.4 GHz wireless Enter a network name of your choice, or leave it unchanged to accept the default name Wireless password settings Next Choose a Wi-Fi password of at least 8 characters. Configure your 5G Hz wireless. Enter a network name of your choice, or leave it unchanged to accept the default name. Wireless password settings. Next, choose a Wi-Fi password of at least 8 characters. Disconnect the computer from the router when you are finished configuring it. Connect TP-Link router and D-Link router together. Plug one end of the Ethernet cable into any LAN port of the TP-Link router. Plug the other end into the WAN, or Internet, port on the D-Link router. Configure the D-Link router. Perform the D-Link router setup. Then connect your computer to the D-Link via Ethernet cable. Open a web browser, enter dlinkrouter.local. Click next to proceed. You will be asked to configure your 2.4 GHz wireless network and 5 GHz wireless network. Enter a network name of your choice, or leave it unchanged to accept the default name. Next, choose a Wi-Fi password of at least 8 characters. Enter the administrator password of your choice. You will be presented with a summary of your chosen settings. Disconnect the computer from the router when you are finished configuring it. If you have any problems installing and want to start over, press and hold the reset button below the D-Link router. Place your routers. Now that everything is configured, you can place your routers wherever you need. Keep in mind that you will need to run Ethernet cable between the two routers. You can run Ethernet cable through the wall if you need to reach another room. For convenience, you'll probably want to place your primary router near your modem. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please help me make a dream of 100,000 subscribe.